So uh, once they start, I would like to start, uh, first of all, a uh, very good evening to everyone. And uh, you know, good evening to all the dignitaries uh, present here, my fellow colleagues, students. I'm, you know, I'm really thankful for the opportunity given by Mr. Yogesh and my you know, supervisor again, uh, Dr. Atul Kulkarni from Simbai's Center for Nanoscience and Nanotechnology. I'm an accidental researcher, I'm not, a, uh, and uh, I'm a forced researcher. So I'm not a researcher by choice. So research came to me, you know, I've been forced to do PhD. So I'll say, uh, you know, when I joined my masters, so, you know, in those times, like I'll not say that I'm quite old, but 15 years back, so, uh, you know, 15, 16 years back, when I started my, uh, you know, graduation, then, you know, I was, you know, I was hearing a lot about IT. Sab log information technology kar rahe the. So, maine bhi socha ki kuch uh, biotechnology karke aaya tha. So, I thought, let us do biotechnology and I'll get a job immediately. Because uh, my family financial conditions were not really good. So, I thought, okay, I'll, I'll join biotechnology and then, uh, you know, I'll, I'll get a job immediately of some, you know, few lakhs uh, per year. And then I'll be enjoying all the way. And, you know, uh, you know everybody has a dream of getting married, go here and there, and then enjoy. So that is what, you know, I thought. I would be able to support my family. But it's not like that. Here, as I joined my biotechnology, everybody said that you have to do a PhD, you have to do a research, you have to do a lot of paper. I said, I don't have to do a lot of paper, I don't have to do a lot of paper. So in between, uh, you know, uh, everybody used to say that you have to do that, this is the only way. I said, why do you say BT-BT? BT means BT, 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 Biotechnology hota hai, job milna chahiye. So I started, uh, you know, working. So I didn't join PhD. No, I wanted to make money immediately. So after my biotechnology, even from Pune University, a biotechnology department, you know, I I qualified. My rank was 22nd All India. So I said, "Kitna acha rank lagye bhi, koi 25,000, 30,000 bhi dene ke liye tayar nahi hai." So you know, I started uh, finding uh, jobs in, uh, you know, marketing and other places. So to find out, to consistently doing ki nahi kaise paisa banana hai, paisa banana hai. So I went into the entrepreneurial mindset, every day finding new jobs, finding new places, kuch to karna hai, jisse immediately we can make money. And by then, uh, these uh, Flipkart story and all these story, they came out and I thought, wow, ye to bhot paisa bana liya hai, iska matlab entrepreneurship mein bhot paisa hai. So I started, uh, you know, my first startup way back in 2012, you know, 13. And that was a nanotechnology startup. So I didn't know about anything about nanotechnology. It was my friend who came back from uh, Cambridge, and he said, "Let Prem, let's start something." So I said, "Yes, yes. You know, it's the right time to start. Abhi bhi Flipkart, uh, you know, usko kafi usko, you know, push up mil raha hai. Usko kafi, you know, media, ye sab mil raha hai. So let us start. So we also started doing karte hain startup. The problem kya solve karna hai us time problem ke baarein. To pata nahi tha. Ten saal pehle, uh, almost seven, eight years back, I left the research field, biotechnology." So whatever he started doing, I just followed it up with an entrepreneurial mindset. Again, we will get some funding, we'll make some money. Slowly, he made uh, me that nee, you need to read the research paper. I said, okay, we'll read it. If we'll get the funding from it, we'll read the research paper. So we'll read the research paper we started reading. In the journey, so uh, he somehow he found out that this guy is not inclining towards research, and I'm starting a research uh, company, and he's not doing anything in the research. So he, you know, he pressed my weak point, which is my wife. She also wanted to do, uh, you know, me to do PhD. You have to PhD. So he brought her into the company and started pressing the button that you need to do PhD, PhD karna hai. Or achha, matlab, you need to do more research paper. Otherwise, we have a research company. How, you know, if you are meeting someone and if you are not into research, if you can't talk about research, to kaise hoga? Ye mind to market to hone ke wala hai nahi. It's not possible. So, you know, we did one startup, then we left those uh, nanotechnology startup. But then I said ki that I cannot read much about nanotechnology. I can do something about biotechnology. Thoda sa mujhe biology achha sa samaj mein aata hai. So I can read those research papers. So uh, we started another startup and uh, we sold that company in 2016. We started another one, which was, which had some focus in biotechnology. So, so they were consistently pushing, they, both of them, that 
पी एच डी करना है पी एच डी करना है सो आई ज्वाइन पी एच डी इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन आधे मन से यहाँ जब पहले दिन आए तो सब लोग छः महीना रिसर्च पेपर पढ़ना है दस महीना रिसर्च पेपर पढ़ना है नहीं तो आपको प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट नहीं मिलेगा आप कैसे पता करेगा कि आपको क्या मैंने बोला यार ये फिर से प्रॉब्लम हो गई <laughs> तो आई सेट आई विल डू यू नो पार्ट टाइम पी एच डी ये अच्छा है कि पार्ट टाइम करूँगा थोड़ा सा मैं अपना काम भी करूँगा एंड देन आई डू पी एच डी ऑल्सो सो ड्यूरिंग दोज टाइम दैट एंटरप्रेनर माइंड सेट इट ऑलवेज इट वॉज ऑलवेज देयर यू नो वी हैव टू डू समथिंग आई हैव टू टेक इट टू द मार्केट वॉट एवर आइडिया आई एम थिंकिंग सो वी स्टार्टेड दैट कैंसर थिंग बिकॉज आई आई लॉस्ट माई ग्रैंड फादर ड्यू टू कैंसर माई वाइफ लॉस्ट हर बोथ ऑफ द ग्रैंड फादर ड्यू टू कैंसर सो वी सेट दैट इज इट रियली यू नो सच अ प्रेसिंग इशू सो आई स्टार्ट रीडिंग अ लॉट अबाउट यू नो कैंसर रिसर्च एंड ऑल सो you know the topic says that a delightful transformation journey from mother earth to laboratory and market so uh, you know the problem statement so when we were uh, meeting these oncologist we are meeting this uh, you know uh, so they were saying ki ki yaar cancer patients ko bahut problem hoti hai they like i was also observing them every day day in day out that they have huge you know treatment side effects and we were like we met approximately in two years close to 900 oncologists throughout india and different cancer hospitals every day meeting cancer patients kya problem hai kya problem hai the uh, you know i think uh, professor yogesh was talking about that you need to observe and then you need to find out whether what is the problem so we we observed that there is a treatment side effect so for treatment side effect there is no focus drug people uh, take all kinds of painkillers morphines like multiple ones it's not one regulated one which can which may not address all the issues but address some issues kuch to address karenge so like neha already spoke about you know the problem of the cancer and the you know how prevalent it is so we thought that you know and then we even i like doing a lot of research i found out this from the world health organization side that 55% of the patient undergoing treatment for cancer they experience this pain so it's not that uh, in us if it if you are there you are spending some few crores and there will be no side effect there is no guarantee that even though you are using abort medicine which is like 90 capsules 11 lakh rupees you are not going to have some side effect there is no guarantee to it so even uh, you know who reported that 55% of the normal cancer patient and 66% of the patient who have metastatic cancer they also experience some or the other kind of pain and it's not normal pain so so you know when you go for uh, like all these uh, you know sales presentation so they always talk about you look at the opportunity not the problem itself aapko problem mein opportunity dhoondni hai usme kya opportunity hai so i was in india i was not abroad so i thought started gathering some data about it i saw there are 26.7 million existing patients we are we are we are a country of 1.3 billion like touching 1.4 billion उसमें से 26.7 मिलियन बहुत कम लग रहा था बट फिर भी यू नो इफ यू लुक एट द इशू इफ यू गो टू द हॉस्पिटल्स किदवाई ऑनकोलॉजी इन बैंगलोर दे लाइक एवरी डे फॉर ट्वेल्व टू फोर्टीन थाउजेंड पेशेंट्स काम इफ यू गो टू टाटा कैंसर लाइक इट्स अराउंड लाइक यू नो थर्टी टू फोर्टी थाउजेंड आई एम सॉरी इट्स नॉट पर डे इट्स लाइक पर मंथ आई एम सॉरी सो वन थाउजेंड टू वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड पेशेंट्स पर डे पर so they are concentrated like you know and there you will see the problem somebody is uh, it doesn't have the hair somebody is like limping somebody is not able to walk after chemotherapy long period of time there are many people who do not come for the second round of chemotherapy or third round of chemotherapy because of the problem they prefer to die than undergoing treatment so it was a big opportunity and uh, you know the report says that by 25 25 i'll not even talk about 2025 i'll talk about 2030 it will become an epidemic we were talking about the covid but this is a real epidemic which is going to be there so we need everyone all the uh, you know stakeholders from researchers from you know entrepreneurs you know all these people so this is icmr report this all and there is uh, you know the problem is that this is uh, the treatment side effect addressing you know like, like when you address this issue this is not a money minting business so you can't make huge amount of profits on the medicine that you are going to make for this issue so there doctors are still preferring paracetamol morphine whatever you know common okay 
सर्दी हो गई इस पीरियड में तो कॉमन कोल्ड का कुछ मेडिसिन ले लो दर्द हो गया पारासीटामोल ले लो और भी कुछ यू नो एनी अदर पेन किलर्स सो इट्स इज स्टिल वाइड स्प्रेड दर इज नो यू नो इन पैलेटिव केयर इज स्टिल इन द इन्फेंट स्टेज इन इंडिया दैट इज अू नो बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम बट आयुष मिनिस्ट्री येस दे आर कमिंग अप एंड नाउ दे आर इंटीग्रेटिंग दोज यू नो देयर वे ऑफ यू नो मेडिसिन दैट इज ऑल्टरनेटिव मेडिसिन विथ the modern system of medicine and they are promoting that you must do all the trials even though it has been said like 5000 years ago that it is going to address this issue you still do trials you still follow the proper route so that ayush ministry is coming with a lot of support so again i thought ki aakhir karna kya hai matlab issue hai you know we need to address this issue but what i need to do <laughs> so again uh, you know went back to the supervisor went back to the people they said read mere yaar padhi padhai karni padti hai bahut problem hai yahan pe so uh, started doing literature review which was the first step of doing phd and that is how i started so i found out that uh, you know like uh, again a corporate mindset i found out ki nahi koi ek to problem milna chahiye jisko mujhe address karna hai mujhe bahut sare problems nahi chahiye so uh, you know started reading and i read that cellular inflammation is where it all starts so there are a lot of research paper which supports that uh, you know that cellular inflammation where it all starts so if i address that issue so i can win this so i said wow eureka <laughs> mil gaya you know then i started reading few more papers so and oh wow well, again there is no single biomarker there is no single source where i can act really again this is a you know huge range of things so, uh, dr ram was just talking about that whether glycine you know it is will it be a real biomarker so if you detect glycine whether it will be a, you know like you can directly detect brain cancer some some confirmation so i think really like how many biomarkers are there how i am going to address this issue kar nahi paunga ye to bada mushkil hai but still then i said uh, when i was uh, you know like meeting these oncologists and uh, i smsty people i said that theek hai utna hum nahi kuch kar pa rahe so start let us go back to the nature and see like what are the natural products or natural phytochemicals rather i will not say natural products as it is so there are phytochemicals which can address this issue to some extent you can i cannot claim that i'll 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 cure cancer and i'll take care of all the pains it's not possible there are people who are working you know like there are companies there are researchers who are working from hundreds of years and still new problems are coming up so i need to do something so i started reading more about these uh, phytochemicals and i found there are a range of phytochemicals and uh, you know the molecules which takes care of some kind of inflammation you know they address this issue it may not be immediate quick but over a period of time they can work over it so there are you know there are a lot of compounds already people are doing research over it they have isolated the, these phytochemicals also which are working over it which are uh, uh, there are more than like multitude of research papers which talks about it i said okay let us start somewhere we need to start somewhere otherwise we'll keep doing the research so the problem was you know you remember like doing research papers 6 months 8 months 9 months 10 months and then you find so i said okay i cannot work on all the phytochemicals itna aasan to hai nahi again ek compound turmeric liya usme 295 compounds it's very difficult so i need to zero in somewhere so i found that curcumin is very famous <laughs> although it was controversial also but i said no let us start somewhere so curcumin like by the time i zeroed in on curcumin curcumin had already 1186 curcumin analogs 195 molecular targets there were 9000 papers which are supporting that yes curcumin acts on some or the other you know like it acts as anti inflammatory it can take care of some part of those pain and lifestyle problems like during treatment or after treatment there were already 489 patents there are like you know because of the diversity that india has 176 varieties of curcuma longa and there were almost 126 clinical trials already reported on more than 1000 patients so there were clinical trials also going on so what was the problem it was already there but it was the you know the problem was bioavailability every clinical trial was addressing ki curcumin to bhai absorb hota hi nahi aap khaoge aapka maximum body aapko usko bahar fek deta hai so it goes as a waste 
It doesn't stay. So what to do? You know, most of them, they were reporting. There were uh, reports that, that patients have even taken 8 to 16, 500 milligram capsule. Imagine you are almost like stuffing it as a food material. It's like eating chapati. <laughs> So, and they were having their own problems, you know, like eight to 16 capsules, like if you take, uh, you know, of penicillin or amoxicillin, whatever, you take it. Imagine what will happen. Although it was a natural molecule, but it was still having those side effects of their side effects. So how do you reduce that? So we did almost two and a half year, three year, like a lot of research then back. And we said that somehow we need to reduce the dosage. So how can we do that? So improve the bioavailability. That's what we can do. Okay, so if the bioavailability gets improved, we can address some part of it. So we started doing the research. Obviously, it was uh, in association with my uh, one of the startup, like in Human Spider Vigyan, which is run by my wife, and uh, she is uh, also like funded under a startup in India. So, uh, so we improved the bioavailability, and what we saw, although the picture is uh, it's just representative picture. We did it in vitro bioavailability and some animal in vivo also, like animal system. We have not gone to the human system till now, like how the bioavailability is there. We have not done any clinical trial, so it is yet to be there. But what we saw in, in, a, in the laboratory, that yes, in two hours time, it was having 18-fold more absorption or bioavailability than the raw curcumin. Means we can reduce the dosage. So we did further trials. We did not stop here. So we did further a lot of trials. We did a lot of preclinical trials, which, in, uh, which involved even uh, you know, the kinetics and dynamics, how it is working in the other parts of your body, like in the animals, basically, not in, in the human system. We did the drug stability studies because this was a nano curcumin, which was nicely getting dispersed in the water. So we did the stability, like for how long the dispersion will be stable. We did toxicity studies, animal, anti-tumor studies also drug formulation studies, we did in vitro cytotoxicity. So all these studies, you know, we also did uh, those, uh, you know, like in an animal, we, we, we started giving nano curcumin before we induced cancer or tumor. And we saw that how it is like, you know, how the animal is behaving. So those studies we have done, it is under like, uh, you know, review, the publication is there. So I cannot show the, those pictures and data here. So, so we did a lot of a study and how it happened that I started my journey, uh, so 14, 15 years back, started meeting a lot of oncologists. We started the journey. So we did not kill the idea in mind. Okay. We started the journey on the road, log milte gaye or karma banta gaya. So that's what happened. And a lot of people, even the uh, survivors, these survivors, like we went for uh, uh, GMP trial, like GMP, uh, you know, those, uh, certifications, a lot of certifications we have done. I'll show you those certifications. So even uh, cancer survivors, they supported us. We did an observational clinical trial also. So a lot of patient on the basis of just, uh, uh, you know, uh, the animal trial, they accepted, they consented to take it, that we will, uh, we are ready to take it. So it went, it went further. So we did like the journey. So we are awaiting the clinical trials. We are, you know, going for the DGCI trials also. So. So uh, the over-the-counter medicine, we have already got the approval from the, uh, you know, IUS FDA, we have not gone to the DGCI, as I said, that it needs further clinical trials, and then we can go to the, so we have two. So one, it takes care of the, uh, you know, the nanomedicine, which will uh, take care of the, you know, some kind of anti-inflammatory issue, the pain issue. And the another one is normal anti-inflammatory syrup, which we thought that it can be given low-hanging fruit as an entrepreneur, again, to make some money or, you know, so the people who are having normal problems of cold and cough, some anti-inflammatory, so those can be then. It is already uh, trademarked and patented. So other than this, our lab, I am from Simbai Center for Nanoscience and Nanotechnology. Uh, our lab, as uh, Ms. Neha has already uh, you know, said, we are working on smart EC biosensors as well as optical spectroscopy platforms for uh, tumor origin assessment. So it is still in the development stage. So I am fortunate enough, I was fortunate enough to be recognized by the various, uh, you know, uh, for this idea, we got awarded the IIMs, IITs, we, I even repented uh, India at the Southeast Asia startup platform in Singapore. Uh, Nano Korea I have represented. We are incubated with uh, Pune University as well as, uh, uh, you know, Sri Mata Vaishnadevi University, Jammu. We are funded under Startup India scheme. 
Nidhi seed support scheme we have already funded. We have completed that. And there, is, uh, there are a few private investors also who are there. So that's what our journey is. Thank you. I would love to have any, any question, any bombarding, any hammering. Yes, please. taking whole extract because this is what Ayurveda says. True. Second thing is this is phyto compound which is color pigment so it is going to have like body is not going to allow such a big molecule to enter in the body. True. Now you are asking like you are locate uh, or you are focused for that phyto compound to enter into blood. Is it so? So then is is going to create lots of toxicity because naturally for such a big molecule it is, uh, I think, terpenoids. Curcuminoids. So, Curcuminoids, um, yes. so, how you are studying all these things in comparison with whole extract? So, uh, you know, first of all, yes, uh, you know, uh, it's a very good question what you have asked. So, so you, t y as Ayurveda says that the whole extract is always better than the these individual phytochemicals, and that is what uh, you know. Uh, Ayurveda is today fighting with all the allopathy people, and they are saying that you know, do not address the problem, address the root cause of it. But sometimes, this you know, this herb as a whole has its own issues. Ayurveda has said about it, but they have not. Those trials are not there, which talks about turmeric. Yes, turmeric is. They're not. You know, enough trials on the turmeric which talks about that it can address those anti-inflammatory. So Ayurveda says that he usne likha tha ki wo as an antiseptic kaam karta hai. It's not going to work today because the today's environment is different. So as an Ayurveda, uh, this is where we uh, crea created awareness to the ice group of uh, you know practitioners that you also need to enter into this you know the whole cycle of doing research, doing clinical trials. Go ahead. Prove it, publish a research paper. Publishing a research paper is also important because the world needs to know that what you're doing. So turmeric, to answer your question, turmeric, uh, it has 295 compounds, as I said. It has like turmeric, there are like whole range of compounds. Curcuminoid is one of the most active, bioactive compound. So uh, when people isolated the cur curcuminoid, they also compared with turmeric at the lab level, not at the, uh, you know, uh, like there are very few trials, one trial done by Arjuna, Arjuna Naturals, uh, this is another big company in India which supplies a lot of curcumin to US. So uh, they did one trial where turmeric, but they found that curcumin is acting as a better anti-inflammatory in the case of cancer. Now th to address the another issue, you're talking about that if we enter into the blood. So you're talking about IV, you're not oral, you know, oral root and IV roots are different. So when you take it, when you're taking it as an oral root, it gets also metabolized in liver. So there are, it creates its own byproduct. So there we need to see that how it is getting absorbed finally in the small intestine and what will be the, you know, the byproduct which is going to act over these or it will downregulate or upregulate some of the biomarkers or some of the molecules which will finally act as an anti-inflammatory or, you know, or which will safeguard. So making it nanocurcumin. So we have done those toxicity studies which says that no, it is not toxic even to the level of five gram per kg of body weight in the animals still now. But yes, it is an indicator. We are, as, I talk, as I spoke, that I'm going to reduce the dosage. So in the animal, we saw that dosage is coming down to 250 milligram capsule a day. So, so that is not toxic. So right now you're focused just for anti-inflammatory activity, not as a... Uh, inflammation or the free radical generation during cancer? So we need to, again, as I said that, you need to do a lot of research. Research is uh, capital extensive. You need to somewhere, uh, you know, you have to balance the research and the commercial aspect also. So you need to start making money, then do more research. Make more money, do further research. Any, any cancer research, like if you see the drug from the lab to, uh, to the market, it doesn't cost anything less than 7,500 crores. That's I'm from pharma, so I, yeah. I have yeah. this understanding. My so. query was, 
you are not studying it along with the extract, pure extracts. That's we why commenting that. that um, we have done that study, so I'm not okay. showing here. It is a part of the research paper, so that is why we have done that already. Maybe we can take it offline. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, yes, Mr. Prem. Yes. Yeah. Some question. Yeah. yeah. We'll take one question last. Uh, yeah. If the any student of time. has any question, maybe we can yeah. give reference to them. Yeah, please go ahead. Okay. Uh, so the increasing bioavailability of curcumin is through some nanoparticle formulation. Through some nanoparticle formulation. Nano formulation. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, is it that those nanoparticles also can cause some side effect or some side effects? So uh, we studied that uh, in the animals. In the animals we have seen, even in the laboratory uh, we have seen that toxicity, the nanoformulation is not causing any toxicity vis-a-vis -vis extract as well as uh, the curcumin, raw curcumin itself. So I spoke the dosages like in the, when we, de when we did this uh, long-term toxicity as well as acute toxicity. So it is not causing any toxicity up to five gram per kg of body weight to that extent, that nanoformulation I'm talking about. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, uh, Mr. Prem. And we wish you all.